capture on my own, I would. Hi everybody, welcome back to another fossil hunting video. So far, I've actually found some really cool stuff. So what I thought I'd do is, I'd take them all out of my bag and show you and them. And then afterwards, we're gonna head into the rock pools and hopefully find some other really cool Jurassic fossils. Really nice sea worn ammonites. I've not split these ones. This is a really beautiful split. And I think it's going to turn out to be an absolute beauty once it's prepared. I tapped this little edge of the rock and it revealed a large Dactyloceros. Now this one will be pretty good quality I'm sure, as long as there's a middle, which I'd say there's a 90% chance of a middle on this particular one. I've also just spotted a really small but fat ammonite right there. Not quite sure what that one is, so that will be quite interesting. Not only have I found ammonites so far in this fossil hunt, I've found two beautiful but very worn pieces of ichthyosaur bones. Now let me show you them. So this is the very first piece that I'm going to show you today. Can you guess what it is? It's multiple ichthyosaur ribs. Now the ribs run to the very end of the rock, so there'd have been more wearing about on the beach at some point, but this is all I found today. I think this will be a contender for a cut and polish. Now this is the second piece of bone that I've just picked up. Again, really warm, but it could be quite special once it's prepared. There's about eight different ichthyosaur vertebrae wearing out of this piece running all along the top there and there's a few down at the bottom now let's go ahead and find some more fossils now that is certainly interesting I was expecting an ammonite inside this rock and I popped it and it's actually a partial lobster piece it's part of the rarer species, I think they're called Colea, maybe I've pronounced that wrong. It's part of the body, not very well preserved either, quite soft, but I think it's worth taking back because it's quite cool. So I've just blindly popped this nodule hoping there's something inside and this was revealed. See that beautiful looking ammonite keel right there and it's popped off. Look at that. Split absolutely amazing. And I'm wondering if there's any more on the inside of this one because there's still plenty of space. So I'm going to pop it and if I don't get back to you about it, then it was empty. If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com I've got some beautiful prepared ammonite specimens available for purchase. I've also got fossilised bone. Please take a look if you are interested. There's something for everyone on there. So I have just spotted a Dactyloceros wearing in one of these puddles here. It looks like it's already been popped for a little while. And it's got some sea creatures on it. Probably a little bit too far gone I reckon there. So there's a super C1 ammonite here. Doesn't look like much at all, but they often split well. So it appears to have split open and it looks like it's gone really well. Let's take a look. 
Beautiful. So I've just picked this one limestone nodule up here and I'm going to give it a tap open right now and hopefully we'll get a good specimen from it. So one tap and it's cracked not really where I wanted it to go but we'll see what's been revealed. Could have just gone straight through the ammonite but there's only one way to find out. Oh no, that's gone perfect actually. To reveal a beautiful ammonite keel there. So I think it's too tempting that. I'm going to get my chisel in and hope for the best. Nice and easy. So it's definitely revealed a bit more of the ammonite. And I'll be taking this one back now. It's definitely split off well enough. I'd be pretty surprised if this one doesn't contain anything. A beautiful middle of a pyrotized example. Another lucky hammer blow I'm hoping here has opened up this dactylioceros specimen nope not fully so I'll take that one back as well So I'm just walking back from Runswick now and I've just picked this really crusty old nodule with a tenuous datum inside of it on the way back. So I'm going to pop it open for you now and hopefully get a good one. So here it goes. Hopefully it's gone well. Yeah, it's a beautiful example that. Technical start from grey shale ammonite. Hi everybody, I am now back up from the beach and I'm going to show you something very cool from my own collection. Now this isn't a personal find, but it is a beautiful piece from the Whitby coastline. It was originally preserved in shale but it's been very well stabilized, lots of paraloid, extremely stable piece. You can probably tell what it is based on the label that I've put. The best side is the other one, currently facing away from the camera. So I'm gonna flip you around right now and you can see what's on the other side. So we've got a gorgeous section of ichthyosaur jawbone there. And then towards the top, there's multiple beautifully preserved small ichthyosaur teeth. And there's also part of the ichthyosaur's eye called the sclerotic ring. Multiple little scattered plates. I'm going to zoom in on the little teeth there. Hopefully the camera is doing this beautiful fossil justice. Because it is a stunning piece to have in the fossil collection. This particular fossil I have enjoyed for over a year now. But I'm going to be putting it up on the website today because I'd like to make a bit of room on my shelf. So if you would like to add this gorgeous genuine fossil from the Whitby coastline to your own personal collection, please take a look. Thank you.
Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one.